everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, so good to see you. Hi, Julie. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Carol. How nice to have you. Hi, Karen. Julie's here. Yvonne's here. Yay, all my favorites are here. Thank you. Oh, it's so good to see you. It's cold here in Minnesota. I mean, actually, when I walked out to the mailbox with a whole armful of stuff I was sending out, um, I was surprised. It sort of seemed warm. And it, the reason was is because the wind wasn't blowing. So even though it was only four degrees out, it was actually really nice. Um, you got to you got to be grateful for for the small things, right? No wind. <laughs> oh goodness. Hello, Kay. Good to see you. Oh, you're already sharing. Well, you guys, you know what? We're going to do a good giveaway today. Um well, not today. When are we going to do this? Tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. This uh little replay is only going to be available for about 24 hours. So <laughs> What am I giving away? You know, I hope you guys are watching not just because I give things away. I, and the giveaways, you guys, are not, are not that big of a deal. But tom tomorrow's little giveaway is actually a little bit bigger of a deal. I'm going to divide up this pack of the Twall Glimmer Dots because we're going to use some dots on our cards. So as I send those cards out, it'll be nice for you to have the dots to go with it. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Hi, Judy. Oh, so good to see you. I'm doing great. Thank you. Hi, Becky. Welcome. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are catching me live. You know, I was wondering, is 10 a.m. a good time? Because I was doing some little searches on my analytics over on Pinterest, and it turned out that I was posting all at the wrong times. I always post in the morning because, you know, I'm sort of a morning person, so that's usually when I'm on my game. But it turns out that most of the people who click on my links on Pinterest and come to my blog are all doing this in the late afternoon or evening. So I was thinking, oh my gosh, should I be actually doing these Facebook Lives in the, in the, in the afternoons or in the evenings? I don't know. Maybe you guys could let me know in the comments. Maybe I need to change things up. Maybe, maybe uh, mornings aren't such a great time for people. I don't know. I just kind of always did what was convenient for me. But... You know, I should get your opinion too, since you guys are making an effort to be here. Oh goodness, Christine is here all the way from Belgium. You have been such a loyal follower. Thank you, Christine. Good morning. Oh, and Julie's telling me she lucked out, got to see me live today. Yay. <laughs> yes, a few of you are sharing. Thank you so much. Hello, Lisa. Thanks for sharing. Hi, Rhonda. Oh, she says the day and time are wonderful for me. Well, that's probably why you're here all the time. Thank you. It's good for me, too. Oh, lovely. I got lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> why do I even wear it? Oh, goodness. I'm trying to get it off. I'll just drink coffee and then no one can see it. But I wear it because, I don't know, it looks pretty. <laughs> I've always worn lipstick. In fact, when I was a kid and my mom would put lipstick on, we'd all say, where are you going? Because she only put lipstick on when she walked out of the house. <laughs> oh, thank you for sharing, Teresa. Good to see you. Oh, you guys from Georgia. Hello. Good morning. Do you know cold is on the way? Yes, I was looking at the national weather maps this morning, and you guys are going to be freezing. I think, I don't know, is it Wednesday or Thursday? You guys are supposed to get some super low temperatures. We actually had a record low high yesterday in Minneapolis. Yes, we, bro we broke a record. It's hard to break records in Minnesota because we have had generations of super cold weather, but we managed to have a new low high of 18 degrees yesterday. So that was pretty cool. Thank you, Teresa, for sharing. So nice to see you. Oh, and you guys are so nice. Yay, yes, of course. If you don't catch the live, the replay is always there. Um, good morning, good morning. All right, you know what? We've got quite a few people on. I think I'm going to get started. Oh, boy, did I get a surprise. I went to, I have this little box that I keep outside my door and once in a while I'll open it up and there's like a total surprise in there. And one of my downline members who doesn't even live that close to me, she drove up to my house because I think she was doing some product deliveries. 
and she just threw it in my box and didn't tell me she put anything in my box. And then just randomly, I went to my box, opened it up, and I had all these, I had just two very lovely cards and a very cute Christmas tag in the box. I'm gonna be sharing those with you today. They're just adorable. And I have to preface this, I've decided, all right, this is kind of hard for me, but I'm going to tell you something that I made a decision about. Um, I've decided not to put the actual projects on my Facebook, um, my, what do you call it? My Facebook page, the Stamping to Share Facebook page. I, a lot of times will take a picture um, and share the project that way on my Facebook page. Sometimes, usually after I do it on the video, I'm only gonna share on the video from now on because I had a couple of comments and it kind of hurt my heart. Um, of course, I was reached privately. These were not public, so I appreciated that. However, my, my downline and the people who send cards to me, they don't necessarily come up with these ideas themselves. And so I don't always know where the ideas come from, and so I'm unable to give credit and, and I think that's okay. I don't, personally, I'm not too worried about credit, but you know, I never have been. I'm just one of those people that don't care about that kind of stuff. But there are people that do, and I totally appreciate that. I totally get that. And yes, they should be getting the credit. So from now on, I'm gonna preface this by saying that the cards that are mailed to me may have been cased. And so I will, I will not worry about it. I'm going to share it on our Facebook Lives because I think, I think it's just lovely for you guys to see some of the cards that are sent to me. And you know, not everybody, not everybody wants to create something from scratch. Oh my gosh, the very, one of the very last cards that I shared, I don't have it handy here, but I, I cased it. I cased it right from the cover of the catalog. So yeah, anyway, I am, I am just going to share on my lives these wonderful drop-offs, these wonderful cards that I get in the mail. And I hope you guys understand that. All right, so now I think what I'll do, one more big sip of coffee here, and then we're going to flip the camera down and I'll show you these wonderful cards. And then we'll get, oh, and I even have something else to show you. Um, on the last Facebook Live I did, I used the So Many Stars bundle. I'm sure you guys remember because it was a really beautiful card. I've, I've still got to do the blog post, hoping to get that up tomorrow. But I also made a cute little treat box to go with it. And when I put the PDF up on my blog tomorrow, I'll make sure that the treat box and the card are included so that when you download the PDF, you'll be able to um, get the directions not only for the card but also for the treat box. Good morning, Linda. How wonderful to see you. You're, I think you're going to get some cold air down your way, too. Hello, Alice. <laughs> oh, Alice, it's sad you had to say that. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. Oh, goodness. Okay, okay. I, I'm sorry. I just got to get going here. We'll sit and chat all morning. So hold on. Give me a second to get everything lined up, and we will get started. We're going to start by, I'm going to show you what I found in my box. And this was delivered to me by my my very first downline member. She actually joined my group by by marching down the steps into my office. And, and she had a big bouquet of flowers. She handed them to me and she said, congratulations, I'm going to be your first recruit. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is just the best way in the world to get your first recruit. I still treasure that memory and this is these are some of the things she dropped off for me so this card uses the sailing home stamp set and the come sail away designer series paper and then on the inside we have the woven heirloom stamp set and it is the most gorgeous sympathy card ever i really have to case this it is so beautiful so this is what the front of the card looks like, and I love the more muted colors. So it's got the, the crumb cake card base, and it's got the Knight of Navy, and then um, it's got the wheel here, and then the wonderful twine that coordinates with all of this. And she used the coordinating framelits, and it's just so subdued. It's a wonderful sympathy card. And when you open it up, it says prayers and heartfelt sympathy are with you and your family. 
and I love that because that comes from the woven heirloom stamp set. So let me just quickly show you the supplies that she used. She used the Come Sail Away Designer Series paper, and that's all part of our regular catalog along with the Sailing Home Bundle because along with the stamp set there are coordinating dies that go with it. And she used the Woven Heirlooms stamp set for the sentiment. All right, so that's the first one. The second one that she gave me is kind of a two-part one. So she created this darling little tag and it uses the, the two from is from the snowman season. And then to create this cute little tag, she's got uh, little, um, little coal eyes and a carrot nose and a felt scarf. And that's from that little embellishment kit that's on the same page as the um, Let It Snow Specialty product suite. And so that uses the Snowman Season stamp set. And you can see there's the two from here. That's all she used from the stamp set. But there's a whole bunch of cute images. And as a bundle, it comes with a punch, which is pretty handy. Punches are just so handy, especially if you're a new stamper just starting out. And then this is the Let It Snow Designer Series paper. And isn't that lovely? I love this paper and I just actually have sold quite a bit of it to some of my customers and actually even got a brand new customer who just started out with this whole product suite. She just loved it all. And then the final thing I want to show you is this wonderful card that she gave me. And so she combined the Snowman Season um, product suite with the snow globe, the still seen snow globe set. So she didn't, um, and then I think she used, so the thank you is from, oh, I'm not going to be able to think of it, but you could put any sentiment in here that you want. I can't think of what this is from now. It's like the one with all the stained glass and all of that. That's where the thank you is from. But the, but the outside uses the swirls and curls embossing folder, and then she took one of our Wink of Stella, clear Wink of Stella, and she just brushed a bunch of sparkle all over it. And then the inside, of course, it's a little shaker card. And she used the little snowman from the, the paper pack that we have here. So even if you don't have the punch or the stamp set, you can still make really cute snowman cards just punching out. I think she actually used this one right here, just punching out with the die cut the coordinating backdrop for the snow globe. So super cute. All right, so thank you so much, Catherine. I love these cards and you're just a sweetheart to surprise me like that. Okay, then I was going to share with you. So this is the card we did on the very last Facebook Live. And then I also created a cute little treat box that coordinates with this card. So again, what you're using are little strips uh, um, these are little strips of the acetate and you can't wrap the acetate around because it's just really hard to do that. It's, it's really sturdy um, paper. And so what I did is I just cut it to the size that I needed and glue dotted it on to my, my uh, clear treat box here. So Stampin' Up! sells clear treat boxes and they look like this. They're called clear tiny treat boxes. So if you need to give out Chris or little treats at Christmas time, this would be really cute. And it also makes a cute little decoration if you're doing a holiday dinner where you would fill this with uh, maybe some some little appetizer things like peanuts or chocolate or whatever. And you would just have their name here instead of the word love, or you could put the word love there and write their name down here in like a chalk marker or something. So it makes a really cute table favor. Um, I love to challenge my downline to do little table favors so then I feel like I need to come up with them myself too. So here's this one and again I'll have the directions for that on the PDF when I do the blog post tomorrow over at Stamping to Share. So now let me show you what I've been doing. This is a card I made with Nature's Beauty, oh, several months back. It was, you know, it was one of my very favorite stamp sets out of the holiday catalog. And so I believe this was the very first card that I created and I wanted to make a companion card to that. And so that's the card that we're doing today. And it's this one right here with the deer, which is very 
applicable right now because it is deer hunting season here in Minnesota, Wisconsin, North Dakota, South Dakota, uh, lots of hunters in this area. And I come from a family of hunters, so I totally get that. This um, is actually the card we're going to make. This is the less blinged up version. In fact, I was going to show you kind of how I go through things when I start making cards. So the first one I did, I thought, oh, you know, I'm gonna stamp some little snow things over here on these bushes. And I wanted to keep it with the twall colors because this is a twall designer series paper and I was using the garden green. So I stamped the snow with garden green and then I didn't like it. So this went into the scraps bag. And then the next card I made was this one. And of course I loved it because I, it didn't have the green snow in it and it just looked really nice and, and I liked it a lot. And then I put these little guys down here and I loved it and I thought, well, gosh, I like those so much down here, I should put the little glitter dots up here too. Well, then it instantly went from looking masculine to looking girly. And that was not my intent. So, so not that this is for the, for the bin. I'd send this to a girl, maybe to a girl hunter. Um, so then my next card was the, ended up being the final version where I just used a teeny little bit of bling down here. Makes it much more applicable for a masculine card. I mean, if you really wanted it masculine, you could probably leave these off, but, but I think guys like sparkly things too. I mean, it's just sort of our nature. Our eyes are attracted to things that sparkle. All right, so let's get started recreating this card. And this is what we're going to be using. Oh, and I should show you the inside. I forgot to do that because we're using a different stamp set on the inside. So the inside says thankful each day for you and it looks like this. And then of course the outside is all nature's beauty, which looks like this. The two every season stamp set is also uh, one of those stamp sets that can be bundled and I love it. I've used it actually quite a bit more than I thought I would. But the little punches are just so darn cute and they coordinate with a few other stamp sets that we have in our catalog. So you've got the little bat, the heart, the leaf, which I love using on the Harvest Hello's pumpkin because it's perfect for that, and then the little snowflake. And you can actually use this snowflake punch on all three sizes of snowflakes and get different looks when you punch them out. So kind of fun. If you didn't know that, you should try it. It's really cute. All right, so let me put all of these things aside and then we'll get started. So the first thing that you're going to need, oh dear, where is it? Here it is. The first thing that you're going to need is some thick, very vanilla cardstock. I have these, just at your basic card size, the five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So we'll go ahead and fold these in. And then I will use my bone folder to get that crease because I can't stand it when my cards pop up. Oh no, don't tell me I don't have my bone folder here. Ah, I don't think I do. Oh no, I do, goodness. I was like, how, how could that just disappear? All right, so take your bone folder, crease those edges so the cards behave themselves. All right, that's the first thing to do. The next thing to do is you're going to do a little stamping on the edges because we want some green trees. You might have even missed that when I held the card up, but you're going to put some garden green trees like this in the background. So we're going to open up the garden green ink and I can see what I did forget to put on my table, but that's okay because I am, I am close by to where I can just grab this. We need something to put this on because I don't want it getting onto my table. So you want some kind of scrap in the background. So ink up the, the trees and just stamp those. Oh, I don't know. Don't worry about it too much. You're just gonna stamp those kind of on the right side and on the left side. I'll measure this up and tell you how far up I'm going. Probably about an inch, let me check. Yeah, about an inch up. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other one. Just stamp a few trees here. And I'm probably going too far in, but that's okay. Because I think just the very, very edge is going to show, but I'm just double checking, double doing, doing the double duty, you know, to make sure it's right. 
All right, so then um, you can just set these aside because that's all you're going to do with these for the moment. So just put those aside. And then you're going to need a four by five and a quarter inch piece of the 12 designer series paper. And I don't know why I don't have my 12 designer series paper here, but that's okay. You guys know what it looks like. It's it has all these different 12 designs, which are really elegant patterns. And then it's got red on one side and green on the other. And you're going to start with a four by five and a quarter inch panel. And of course, I did pre-do this. So let me just show you what this is all going to look like. So let me grab my pieces here. Because you need to cut some stitch shape rectangles. So you're going to use your stitch shape rectangles from Stampin' Up! These are layering rectangles. And you're going to use the third largest size and the fifth largest size. And then, because I like to do a whole bunch of cards at one time, what I did is I took that, I made sure that it was very even all the way around, and then I took some scotch tape and taped this together so that I could use it over and over and over without having to line this up each and every time that I ran it through my die cutting machine. So I just taped it and it works great. Then you just set it on your paper so that your, well, of course, now I kind of messed this up. Hold on, let me grab my other paper. Set it on your paper so that your right and left sides are even and your top and bottom are even and as long as you kind of got that even all the way around after you run it through your die cutting machine you're going to come up with something that looks like this so you've got a middle section which you can just set aside and use on another project voila you could use it on this card so when i post this on my blog i'll put the link for this card too because these are the little cutouts that i used on this card all right, and then you have two stitched rectangle pieces left over. This is going to go into the inside panel of your card, and this one is going to go on the outside panel of your card. So I have a couple of them, and I used all different patterns of that Toile Designer Series paper. So again, you've got your little inside cutout that you can use on another card, and then you've got your outside piece, and another inside panel. So let's go ahead and put these inside panels on. So I'm going to flip them over and I'm just gonna put it on with a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue. And the reason, oops, I thought I had gotten this prepped, but maybe not. See, I always have a little bit of a struggle because I don't keep my glues capped Actually, let me show you what I do with my glues. I just keep them in a jar like this, and I just keep them upside down, and then I have to kind of do a little starting thing every time I want to use them. But then, once I've started them, they're good for the day. See, I started it, and now it's good. So I'm just putting a little line of glue all the way around, and I'm going to keep it to the green side because I want it to look, um, you know, I'm using those green trees in the background, so. I didn't want to stamp red trees, although I'm sure it would have been perfectly fine. All right, so then you're going to take your glued pieces. Oh, let's see. <laughs> what, did, what did I do with my card pieces? Where did they go? They were here like two seconds ago. Oh, here they are. I was like, let's see how we can do this now. So we're going to take this and put it on the inside panel. So this one is going to be the check pattern. And the re oh, and I think I started saying this and then got all distracted when the glue didn't work, but you can use glue on the thick Whisper White and the thick Berry Vanilla and it doesn't ever show through. Whereas most of the time I usually use um, snail on those so we don't end up with a glue line. Now if this one you didn't matter if it was upside down or whatever because there is no upside down or right side up. This one there is, so when you put it in you wanna make sure that you've got everything lined up so your deer, your little snowman and your barn and your, your deer aren't sitting upside down on your inside panel. All right, so that looks pretty good. Then we'll do our stamping in there. So you're gonna take early espresso ink and you're going to grab your little stampin' mat because the two every season is a photopolymer set. So I'm going to stamp 
thankful each day for you. And I'm going to do it in early espresso. Now you could do it in garden green. I like early espresso. It just looks a little bit more masculine and it coordinates with the front of the card because the deer is going to also be stamped in early espresso. There you go. And it turned out so nice. So now you can set those aside because we're going to work a little bit more uh, with some stamping and again with early espresso. So let me grab the next thing that we're going to use and that is two panels of Very Vanilla. Now this is just our regular Very Vanilla cardstock. And this is three and one quarter by four and five eighths. Why such a weird size? Well, it's because of the size of the cutout that we made with our dies. So to get it to look really even all the way around, we had to go five eighths. So three and one fourth by four and five eighths, just our regular Very Vanilla. And now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the deer stamp. And you know what? If you're a little nervous about stamping this, now I've done this, I can eyeball things really good because I've been stamping since 2000, so I just kind of know how big a half inch is and how big a quarter, three quarters of an inch or an inch or whatever. I'm pretty good at figuring that out. Um, but if you're a newbie stamper and it's like, oh, I don't know where to stamp it, um, I'll show you a little trick here. So just lay, lay your piece on loosely and then stamp the deer because he doesn't touch anything. And you're just going to stamp him down here and just stamp him right in the center, just like that. Oh, this is a beautiful deer, one of the most beautiful deers I've ever seen in a stamp set. There we go. So we've got our deer stamp. Then we're going to take the, the brush, I guess you would call it, what he's standing in out in the woods. So remove these. Grab your, grab this guy, um, your scrap paper. And then what you're going to do is just stamp this right around your deer so it looks like he's standing in the woods there it is look at that just like that we've got your deer in the woods doesn't that look cool okay so we're gonna do the same thing to this one just add so much there you go oh I love it I love this stamp set I love how beautifully it stamps and it is just, it just looks so real, so natural. And did you guys know that when you purchase the stamp set, $3 from every st stamp set that's purchased is going towards uh, mental health? That, that's what Stampin' Up! is donating to. So I love that, mental health organizations. All right, so we're going to get this out of the way. And then the next thing we're going to do is apply our little over pieces like that and even though this is regular vanilla I am going to use glue on it and again I can tell you why the reason is is because nobody is going to see the back side of this because it is going on it's a layer on our card so we're going to set this right here the little checkerboard right over the top and the reason I like to use glue so much because I'm sure you've noticed is it gives me a little chance to wiggle it into place so everything is just perfect okay that looks great and then we'll do the same thing to this one this is actually a pretty quick card today so we're gonna just put a little glue on the back And we're going to set this right over the top and just wiggle that into place so all the sides are nice and even. Beautiful. Okay, now the next thing to do is just add some dimensionals and I'll look at the comments and see what you guys are all saying. Let me grab my dimensionals first. Oh dear, where are they? Well, I can find my minis. It's so weird that they're not on my desk because I use them all the time, which is odd. So let me run across the room and see if they're over there. Yep, so 
somehow they got in my drawer across the room. So here they are. I could have used the minis, but I don't know. That would have taken too long because they're so tiny. I would have probably had to double them up. So here we go. We're going to put five on because we want this layer to be just a little bit raised. So here it is. Oh, Laura's telling me she loves the cards. Neat idea. Good tip for stamping the deer. Thank you. <laughs> Candace is telling me it's stamping helps her mental health. You know what? I can totally get that because when I'm stamping, all of my problems seem to just fade away. And when I'm stamping, time disappears. Another thing that happens when I'm stamping is like if I've got you know, something achy, like my joints hurt or whatever, I notice that when I'm stamping, I kind of forget about it. And I stop feeling so sorry for myself. I mean, I just, I just love, I just love that. And Candace is right, stamping, stamping is really good for your mental health. And I think the creative gene, you know, when we're stamping, it brings out that little bit of creativeness in us. And that just feels so good. All right, so I'm also double checking to make sure I'm getting the right one on the right card. I'm just setting this in here. And that looks good. All right, and now the finishing touch is to, and this is what I'll do on my giveaway tomorrow. So be sure you're commenting, be sure you're sharing on your timeline, letting other people know about this video so they can comment. And then I'll do the drawing tomorrow morning and we'll pick a winner. But I'm going to be using the green glimmer dots from the Twal Glimmers. And I've got a couple right here, so I'll just take it from here. And I like to use my uh, take your pick tool. And I can just go in. I'm going to grab not the very biggest one, but the second biggest one. And we'll set this right here in the corner. Then I'll take the next size up. And we'll put that just a little bit above and then the smallest one right here. And look at how, how just how fantastic that, that just adds so much to the card, just that little bit, I love that. So let me put, put that finishing touch on this card. Why does this card look crooked to me? Can I still get it off? I think I put it on crooked. And I don't think I pressed it down super hard. So I'm going to try to fix it. Another one of those uh, K's being picky things. Sorry about that, you guys. <laughs> but I'm, I'm giving these cards to you. So two of my winners are going to have this card. Don't worry, you won't see this. I'm going to redo this because it got on crooked. You know, it's always one of those things where when you're doing videos, you cannot see because the camera's in the way. So I'm going to add some additional dimensionals. So someone that gets this card, they'll be able to feel that this is the one that, that got the extra tender loving care from Kay to make sure that it was absolutely perfect. <laughs> I have a hard time with perfectionism. I really like, I really like things to work out. All right. Well, now what the heck? Did I get ink on here? You guys, I'm going to have to remake this because now I see that I've got ink on the front of my card. So I'm going to remake this. So that you get a really nice card in the mail. All right, here it is. Hold on, let me look at it. Yep, this is perfect. Well, perfect except for the fact that now there's an ink smear on there, but I'll finish it up. And then I'll make another one off camera so that somebody who wins tomorrow morning will get a really pretty one in the mail. I don't want you to get a subpar card from me. All right. There we go. Here are the two cards. Wow, this video's done already. That was pretty quick. So, and actually, I made all three of these for you. All right, thank you, you guys, so much. Have a wonderful day. Um, I'll do the drawing tomorrow morning, and we'll talk to you guys soon.